logarithmic functions. Before dealing with logarithmic functions, let's recap what we did for an exponential function. We said this that if b is any number such that b is greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1, then exponential function is a function in the form fx equals to b to the power x. Well, we have seen the reasons where why why b has to be greater than 0 and why this shouldn't be equal to 1. Okay. Now, in case of logarithmic function, if b is any number such that b is greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1 and x is greater than 0, then y is equal to log of x to the, bar, to the base b is equivalent to b to the power y equals to x. These are equivalent statements. So this is the logarithmic function and this is the exponential function. Why are you assuming that x should be greater than 0? Because you have assumed that b is greater than 0. When b is greater than 0 and you, you raise it to the power, in case if you raise it to the positive power, of course the result has to be positive. And if you raise it to the negative power, the result again has to be positive. Okay, it doesn't matter. So for example, you, you are saying this that 2, okay, b is 2, and you raise it to the positive power of 2, the result is 4. And you raise it to the negative power of 2, 2 to the power minus 2, it will be 1 upon 2 square, which is 1 upon 4, which is still greater than 0. So x has to be greater than 0. Okay, let's do one example. That is log of 9 to the base 3. What we have seen earlier is that log of x to the base b is equal to y is equivalent to b to the power y equals to x. Log of 9 to the base 3, it could be written as 3 to the power y. Here, in case of this statement, just, just have a look at this. That is log of 9 to the base 3. So in this case, b is equal to 3. And this 9 is equal to x. Okay. So what you need is 3 to the power y should be equal to x, which is equal to 9. That is 3 to the power y should be equal to 9. So what value of x will give you 3 to the power y equals to 9, y equals to 2? y equals to 2 will give you this. Okay. So this is the answer to this. Log of 27 to the base 1 by 3, what that would be? Well, you know this, that log of x to the base b is equal to y which is equivalent to b to the power y equals to x. So b is 1 by 3 and and uh, y is uh, and, and, and x is 27. So you need to find out the value for y. So 1 by 3 to the power y should be equal to 27. What value of 1 by 3? What, what value of, uh, of y will give you this equivalent to, to, to 27? y should be equal to minus 3. So 1 by 3, in case if that is equal to minus 3, what that would be? 1 by 3 to the power minus 3, that is 1 upon 1 upon 27, which is 27. Okay, so when y is equal to minus 3, you have, you have this, this value equals 27. Okay, so the value of log of 27 to the base 1 by 3 is minus 3. Now, there are two kinds of logarithmic functions which you see. One you see natural logs, another you see common log. So common log, whenever there is nothing which is written in terms of base, in case if you have log of say 3 to the base 2, log of 3 to the base 5 or whatever, okay, then these are, these are logarithmic functions. And in case if, uh, in case if you have log of x written to the base nothing, then it is assumed that this, these are called natural log, oh, sorry, common log. Okay. So if you, if nothing is written, then it is to the base 10. Natural log are when one, they are not written as log of x. They are written as ln x. Okay. And the moment you write this, that is equivalent of saying this, that log of x to the base e. That is, the base is e in this case. So when you have log 100, what is the value for log 100? When nothing is written and it is log, it means log of 100 to the base 10. Okay. Well, you know this, that log of x to the base b should be equal to y, which is equivalent to b to the power y should be equal to x. So what is the value for b? 
b is 10. You need to get the value for y. What is x? x is 100. So what should be the value for y? y should be equal to 2. So log of 100 has the value of 2. What is log of 1 upon 100? Log of 1 upon 100 will have the value of minus 2. Okay, because what is, in case if it is log of 1 upon 100, it means that base is 10. So that would mean 10 to the power something should give you 1 upon 100. What value of y can give you 1 upon 100? y should be equal to minus 2. So log of 1 upon 100 is basically minus 2. Let us also calculate, let us also try to draw the graphs for the common log and the natural log for the different values of x's. So when you have the x values, okay, that is when x is equal to 0.3, common log is minus 0.52 and natural log is minus 1.2. When you have x equals to 0.5, common log is minus 0.3 and natural log is minus 0.69. You will have to probably use calculator and or, or logarithmic tables in order to calculate this. And these are the different values. You have to look at this value first of all. That is this value. Okay. When x is equal to 1, common log or natural log, they both are equal to 0. Okay. So when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. One thing you will have to understand here. Now, let us try to draw the graph. Okay, let us try to draw the graph. So what you have is, when x is equal to 0 0.3, when x is equal to 0 0.3, this, this common log is minus 0 0.5 something. I've already put in these points. When x is equal to 0 0.5, common log is minus 0 0.3 when x is equal to 0 0.75 common log is so all of these white points they are for common log so let me just join them by this kind of a line segment okay so it will go asymptotically here what about the natural log Again, these yellow points are showing you the natural logs. Okay, note that they will intersect at x equals to 1 because both of them have the value of y equal to 0 in this case. Okay, so this yellow line is basically for natural log. And this white line is for common log. In our next recording, we're going to talk about some applications of logarithmic functions in economics.